All right, we're going to watch Emmy's breaststroke here. We're going to watch it from us underwater. And uh, as we go through, Emmy, make sure you're also checking the notes that are in with the emails, just different things and items that if, if you're not able to watch the video, sometimes you can watch the, read the notes and kind of re-look and see what it is we're looking at. Um, but as we go through breaststroke real quick, uh, I kind of feel like your fingers are a little bit too stringent staying together. You can open up those fingers a little bit. You know, we like to have those fingers splayed out. And when I say a little bit, I mean very little. You don't want to just get them quite so close together there. Head position looks nice. You engage your kick real well. You can really finish that kick just a little bit better. And we'll go back through. It's more just kind of watching one time through. I mean, you're right there at finishing that kick. So you got to make sure those feet stay get, get together all the way through. Streamline can be a little bit tighter. So there's a couple things. All right, so let's start this over real quick. And we'll just kind of take it step by step. All right, as we start off with your breaststroke here, you can see that your head doesn't really do a whole lot of, of movement, which is really good. You want to try and keep that head in line the entire time. And what you don't want to be seeing is a whole lot of uh, chin up and chin down. And you do a pretty good job of keeping your head still. You can see as your eyes are focused a little bit further, a little bit forward there, but you also have your chin tucked a little bit. So your eye position looking down in this direction here is good. All right. So keep working at that. Your hands are nice and high in that water. Good job of getting your head down as your hands are pushing forward. Try to get your hands a little bit higher in that water. You don't want to go quite so low with that, those hands. If you kind of keep them up, you can roll your shoulders forward as you're pushing forward. So make sure your hands are a little bit higher in that water. As you start your kick here, you can see that your legs are engaged, your knees are in. You can see that your feet are pointed out on this side here, which is fantastic. The one thing, and we'll look at it as we get a little bit close, you're going to see that your feet really aren't coming all the way together. In fact, you can kind of see that your left heel is here while your right heel is here. So you have kind of have your legs in a different plane. Make sure you keep those feet a little bit closer together. Snap those feet together. Um, as far as your pull goes, like how your hands are pressing out to the side here and here. Like how you're pressing your hands outside past the shoulders. But again, if you just look at your fingers, you kind of have your hands really tight together. Make sure those fingers are a little bit more splayed. Um, open up the hands just a little bit so you have a little bit wider of a catch. As your hands come underneath your chin, you do a great job moving them forward pretty quickly. That's fantastic. Again, that kick looks great as far as the position you have your legs in. That's fantastic. You can kind of see here that it's taking a little bit of time before your feet fully come together. Do make sure that you really do a good job of just finishing that kick. Snap those legs all the way together because that's really the, the motor, the power, the propeller is, is your feet. It's not necessarily a pull. Elbows are in good. Hands are really getting forward well. That looks great. But right here you can see legs are a little bit different plane. Your eyes are exactly where they need to be. So that's fantastic. Oops. Add an extra line there. If we're going in here to our turn, kind of see that we hit that wall and look at where your legs are together. So we've got to be able to judge that wall a little bit better. You don't want to be halfway through that kick as you're hitting that wall. So if you need to glide in that wall a little bit, you glide into that wall a little bit. So make sure you don't get a half a stroke in that wall. But if you get a half stroke, tighten up the kick a little bit, shorten it up a little bit, and make it a little bit stronger. As you start to do your feet into the wall, you can see real quick that your feet are really separated. You want to make sure those feet are kind of stacked on top of each other and you're driving your legs into the wall, not so much sideways. As you can see here, you turn your hips and you turn your feet and you turn your heels all sideways so that when you hit the wall, your knees are facing this way and this way. And we want to see your feet, pretend your feet are on the wall here. We want to see your feet more in this direction here and then your knees a little bit higher up here. So you want to drive your legs straight underneath that body. The other thing you got to do is with your head position here, you can see that you are looking straight up. What we want to see you do, and we're going to rewind it just a little bit here, and we'll see it more above water. But you want to make sure that head stays down more looking at that hand. And you can kind of tell as you come in here, your head is looking 
at the right area, but it's looking way too high up. And then that hand nice behind that head right there is good, but you can see we're not really ready. You can see right in there too. We're not really ready to be streamlined, okay? We gotta make sure to lock those elbows. You wanna have a tight frame from here to here so that you have very little area in this area here, okay? So lock in those elbows, get that streamlined a little bit better. As we come off the wall, you did your dolphin kick there at the end. Now, one of the things we'd like to see you do is actually we want to see you do the dolphin kick at the beginning. So let me rewind you a little bit here. When you are streamlining right about here, okay, once you got right here, you should wait that for about three seconds. After that three seconds, do that dolphin kick. If you do the dolphin kick while you're streamlined, you're actually able to extend your pull out a little bit better and a little bit stronger. So if you do the dolphin kick right there, before you start that pull, it's actually better for you. Okay, head position looks fantastic. That's awesome, Emmy. On your pull itself, good job of really snapping those hands down. But I'd like to see your hands instead of out here on the side, get your hands on your thighs. But the other thing to kind of look here is you're a little bit on an angle. You want to make sure that when you do that dolphin kick, and that's why it's better to do at the beginning, you want to make sure your body is still in that streamlined position. So you don't want your head down quite so much. You want your body a little bit more in a straight line. If it's going this way or this way, that's fine, but it needs to be more of a straight line, okay? Head position looks great. As we do the underwater kick, good job of sliding your hands up. Uh, kick looks good. Your head's a little bit too deep. You actually have your chin tucked, so it's almost like you're looking back towards your knees. Just make sure those eyes are looking straight down. And I think part of what it is, you almost brought your hands up on too much of an angle. All right, so... I think because your head was down so low, you can see, look at this. So you, you finish your kick, but your elbows are above the water now. So your hands are completely up. So you definitely came up to a too high of an angle. You want to make sure that's a little bit more of a gradual um, ascent to the top. You can see real quick here, I'm going to frame this back just a little bit. I just want to see you to see your kick as you're going away underwater. Okay, you kind of finish your kick right there, and then it waits for a second, and then you call it and close those legs. So it's kind of taking a little bit longer to get those legs uh, all the way together than we'd like to see. So keep working on that, okay, Emmy? Great job.